on the eve of the summit's final day, two activists with the group Greenpeace interrupted a state dinner for over 100 world leaders at the Danish royal palace. Dressed in formal evening wear, the couple unfurled banners reading Politicians Talk, Leaders Act. The action came one day after two activists briefly interrupted the summit plenary, chanting slogans for climate justice. Well, I'm going to open the doors for the head of states. Then I will go with them to the stairs. And then I will go to the security and tell that we are Greenpeace, that we are doing a non-violent protest. I'm participating in this section because I think this is now at the moment the moment where a decision has to be taken. Um, I have a small son, two years old, and I would like that he, if he is adult, if he's grown up, that he finds an environment which is still intact and better than now. My name is Nora Christiansen. I live here in Copenhagen, but I'm originally from Norway. And I'm married and I have two children, two and seven years old. Greenpeace has been campaigning with millions of people across the globe for months now, trying to get the heads of state to come to Copenhagen and make this fair, ambitious and binding agreement on climate change. Uh, this evening we will try uh, to get as close as possible to the Queen's dinner for the heads of state, to pass them a message that they need to look after the future of our children, and I, I really hope we succeed. I'm Juan López Duralde. I am the executive director of Greenpeace in Spain and um, I've been uh, very much involved in this campaign for the last uh, at least a couple of years or even more. You know, it's very hard to know exactly which of the many actions that civil society is taking is, is influencing the heads of state and, and which one is not influencing. But what we know for sure is that, uh, that the civil society is standing up and is, and is talking. And we are talking through peaceful, direct action. This is the way we are communicating to the heads of state. Whether they want to listen or not, that's their responsibility. Of course I'm worried about the consequences. I'm not saying that I'm not worried. Everyone that is in this uh, position should be worried if, if you are responsible. But the question is, uh, do I have to do it? And I think, yes, I have to do it. So this is it. We're going to meet the head of state to save the climate. Uh, people do talk about the risk and the implications of this. Um, for me, it's a personal risk of spending a couple of days in prison. And of course, that is a severe situation, and I'm worried about it, of course. But on the other side, you have to compare it with people who are affected by climate change. And uh, if we can do just a little bit to support them in this way, I'm happy to do it. I will stop my car at the end of the alley, and then it's out. Bravo, cockpit. We will stop in the middle of this tunnel. Amazing, we just dropped two activists at the Royal Pass among 120 or more heads of state. We are Greenpeace. This is Greenpeace, this is a peaceful protest. This is Greenpeace, peaceful protest. Politicians. 